Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to it. Diddy Kaguya Sama Love is War. Um, tonight we're on episode 8, and I've been told to do 8 solo because apparently 9 and 10 are a nice, like, duo pair. So this is just episode 8. I know we've been doing a little bit of doubles recently, but just letting you know. Well, you probably already know because of the title, but what if I'd like to reiterate, huh? What if I like that? Um, what happened, the <laughs> what happened on the last episode? Uh, before I even get into that, your boy do be a little sick, okay? I've been sick all weekend with a little cold, but I'm feeling better now, which is why I'm going to watch some Kaguya. And honestly, this show's probably a cure for disease, right? Is that true? Laughter's the best medicine. Whoa, laughter's the best medicine. Is this going to be my little cure-all? My little panacea? Is that what it's called? Panacrea or is it panacea? I don't freaking know. Anyways, what happened last episode? That is a phenomenal question. Um, Let me just uh, boom, get it up. Episode 7. So, episode 7, um, you see I have this shot up, very specifically, because I wanted to talk about it a little bit. But do I want to talk about it now or later? Let's talk about it now. D look at this pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, this is talking about, like, the, the hierarchies of power within, within the school, right? And this is the birthright one. So it's like, it's like the parents one, right? Because, you know, everyone's freaking, except Miyuki, shout out Miyuki, is freaking rich out the wazoo, right? Or like come, coming from like an esteemed family. I just, look at this, look at this. Okay, so we have the bottom one is those enrolling from outside, aka normal people. That's my homeboy Miyuki. The next tier up includes professional athletes. Like, what an incredible jump. I, like, maybe it's, maybe it's kind of like an America difference where like, I don't know, like, a professional athlete in America do be raking in a lot of cash. And they're like, I feel like they're kind of top dogs, are they not? You know, like a star football player. Aren't they like popping off? Or maybe it includes like all professional athletes, not just, not even just like the star players. But it's like, oh yeah, I'm the, I'm the one guy in the football for the one football team. I'm not a sports guy, okay? I don't know football. <laughs> but like, I'm like one of the guys that does the sport. I don't know. But either way... I mean, because you go to the next tier and it's like government or whatever. I feel like in America, I feel like a low-key professional athlete would be above a government worker. Well, unless we're talking about like, so, man, wait, top of each field? What is privileged class if it's above top of each field? What, how do you get higher than the top of each field? What is it even a privileged, I guess, Kaguya? Man, the school is rich. It's just too, it's too high class for like my conception, bro. Because like, I mean, we already got, we got normal people, then we have, like, okay, like, a son or daughter of a doctor. Okay, yeah, that's, like, that's a very esteemed job. Bosses of medium-sized and small businesses. Okay, like, you, you know, you run your own business, kind of successfully, cool. Professional athletes, almost feel like that should be a tier higher, but whatever. Yeah, like, I would put, a per, like, a good professional athlete, like, a, like not even necessarily a star, because I'm not talking about, like, Messi or whatever, right? Um, But, like, just a normal professional athlete, would I put that on the same tier of, of like, a CEO of a company? Like, low-key. Maybe not. I think a star, you know what, I think that's what I would say. Star athletes gotta be, they're probably top of each field because they're the top of their athletic field. Okay, I'm starting to understand this. I'm starting to understand this hierarchy here. Um, but yeah, that's kind of random. I know, what a random thing for me to get start yapping about, I know. Um, and then the, what was the second period? I actually forgot about the second period. It's the clubs, right? Are we talking about the, yeah. Manga club slash, <laughs> okay. The manga club is worse than the going home club. Whoa, bro. That one stings. That one really stings. Worse than the going home club? Is that accurate? It's got that much of a, like, of a, like, a, a looking down upon. I mean, I guess I totally understand without question, but, like, what do you mean? I'm kind of, I, would, I would expect these to be flipped, but you know what? We take that as is. Cultural clubs make sense. Table tennis club, why are you getting your own bracket? I guess because you're nothing compared to the sports clubs, but it is what it is what it is um but yeah so that's cool why were we talking about this we were, we're just talking about oh the ability to become popular this is why miyuki's the best by the way he spawns in with the lowest birth rank club tier and then becomes a student council president that's basically top tier that's cracked i mean i know that's not a sports club oh we were talking about popularity because of um the, our new character what is ishigami shout out ishigami ishigami by the way this was actually crazy. When I was scrolling through the last episodes a little bit, um, right before recording, you know what? It hit me. Ishigami literally spawned in on episode six. I've literally had one, because look, the, episode six was right after the Umbrella episode. Like, that's when he spawned in. You're telling me he's been in, the only time I've seen this character was last time I recorded. 
Because I feel like he's been here the entire time, like, low-key. Like, he slots in that well, right? Oh, yeah, Hayasaka or whatever. Um, is that even your name? Do I not have Hayasaka? No, it is her name. Yeah, Hayasaka. I do... I'm, Hayasaka's grown on me. I like that whole beauty is power thing they were talking about. But, yeah, that is to say, Ishigami slotted in so well. Like, even compared to some of the... Like, I guess Hayasaka's our other kind of character that's been reoccurring. Um... Like, he he slotted in specifically well, I feel like, which was really impressive. Like, I don't know, writing-wise. Because um, I guess it's almost, yeah, I guess it was kind of an untapped market of, like, the, like, paranoid, scared, <laughs> weird, like, incel guy, <laughs> you know? Um, whereas, like, Hayasaka doesn't seem to have, like, I guess she kind of has this popular girl gimmick going on, but it feels weirdly, like separated from her work life so like i'm not entirely sure what she's here for um i guess she kind of just is there to influence kaguya in certain ways you know but she seems like very she is kaguya's side character right as opposed to ishigami who's like very much his own character that's part of the squad um and so this made this main four is really strong and then we also put together in our head that white hair chick right here is miyuki's um sister uh, Miyuki sister white hair, Shirogane. Wait, oh, yeah, Shirogane K. Shirogane K is, um, I think her name. I don't remember when we were told that, but it's in my notes. So, I'ma trust myself. I'ma trust myself. <laughs> but yeah, um, last two episodes were good. Really liked Ishigami. The freaking archery thing was funny. Just watching him completely fumble the bag is really funny. Because, like, we can't have Miyuki. That's actually true. He's a fall guy. He's a scapegoat. Because we can't have Miyuki taking too hard of an L. Or else it'll have, like, character impact on his relation to, like, Kaguya, right? Um, where, like, if he does, says something horrible, like, Kaguya's actually gonna get really impacted by that because they have that whole thing going on. Whereas, Ishigami can come in here and completely throw the match for, like, a comedic bit. And it is not only, like, in character, but also doesn't, like, damage the character relations. Like, they, they already know he's the worst, like, you know? Like, this is expected for this lad. Wait, he and I are the same right now. We're both... To Wait. How is he... What, which eye is that? That's his right eye? Look at left. I am Ishigami K, bro. <laughs> He's doing the headphone thing. That's why That's why I thought that. Wait, his name's not Ishigami K. It's Ishigami U. My fault. My fault, Ishigami. My fault. K is um Miyuki's sister. I'm allowed to make mistakes this episode, by the way, because I'm sick, okay? I still, I'm still considering myself sick because I feel sick and I feel gross, but the show is going to cure me. It's going to cure me. Um, honestly, I don't have too much I want to say for these last episodes. I do kind of really just want to watch episode eight. Um, I might go ahead and watch like nine and ten afterwards. We'll just kind of see how I'm feeling. Maybe I'll wake up and do it then. Yeah, I'll be honest. It's also Thanksgiving um, week for, for like in the time of this recording. So happy Thanksgiving if it's... um. If it is Thanksgiving time for you, if you're watching this in the future, happy whatever normal day it is. Happy, like, December 7th. <laughs> I, I'm watching you. I'm watching you on December 7th right now. Um, but yeah, honestly, I kind of want to just watch episode 8. <clears throat> um, Ishigami's my goat, and I'm excited to meet more characters, and it should be good. Um, just, I, I don't know why, but I have such an inclination to tell you all that I haven't showered in, like, five days. Well, not five days. Like, four days. And I also haven't changed my clothes in, like, three days. Listen, listen, listen. Because whenever I get sick, I just want to talk about myself for a second. I'm also going to light a candle. Whenever I get sick, I, or I, not even every time, but I just don't like taking, like, doing any of those hygiene things. Like, they don't at all feel appealing. Um, you know, I don't want to, like, go take a shower. So I've literally just been, like, laying in bed in my jeans. I'm literally wearing jeans. I've been literally laying in bed in jeans for, like, hours and hours and hours and sleeping like 15 hours a day for the last three days and just horking down medicine it's been bad it's been bad it's been bad but we're feeling i'm feeling better now so i'm ready to watch some kage this will i think this will be the finishing blow for my disease as it cures me of my ailments um but yeah so it should be exciting um not too much further ado i say let's just jump into episode eight um and see where we're at with that <clears throat> Oh, do I have a Drinkus? Oh, shoot. I have no unopened Drinkuses. How about a, how about a little Gatorade? Um, a little Glacier? A Glacier Cherry Gatorade. What about this? Fun fact, this was free because I found it on the street. 
It's just a full pack, just chilling. And I was like, wait a second. It wasn't on the street. It was on, it was like hidden away. Trust. <laughs> okay, I'm not, no more context. You can have the first sip. You can have the first sip. You can have the first sip of the, of the hidden street Gatorade. Wait, did I actually pour any? Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> I thought I poured some. Ah, yeah. It's not, I honestly wouldn't buy that myself, but I got it for free, so we take that as one. Um, all right, so get yourself a drink, get yourself a snack. Episode eight, let's get this going in a three, a two, a one. Bye. <laughs> Love me, mister. That's me every day. But not mister, it's missus. Ooh, okay. Love me, missus. Love me, missus. That's Miyuki every night. Freaking Chica. How, how many more characters are we missing there? I, I didn't recognize most on the right hand side. Oh, and don't don't forget um, the secret admirer of that one guy that like we've been watching the development with him and um him and Kashiwagi. Uh, he got a secret admirer that's about a like that's gonna come in soon because they've appeared I think twice now twice that I've noticed them. Um, the second time though was really obvious. So he could come in and and cause some conflict, right? A little bit of a love triangle situation. Um, I could see her trying, like having like the the secret admirer having a meeting with Kaguya about like that feeling, like that jealousy or whatever. Um, which then maybe would inspire Kaguya to be like, oh dang, Miyuki, like what if he gets a girl, whatever? Like would I feel that way? You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that could be done with that. Um, but that's definitely on the on the table. Also, random thought. I had this actually yesterday. I was thinking, I was thinking about Kaguya, and I was like, wait a second. They could so easily do a sick episode, like where one of them is sick and they like take care of each other, but they're trying to like take care of each other in like a way that's not obvious of their feelings. Middle school. Bet. Oh, it's K. She looks nefarious. Wait, she looks like a problem. She's scary. I'm scared of her. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she's well-mannered. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're the treasure. Oh, that's kind of, that's kind of fun. Wait, she's kind of cracked. Miyuki. Yeah, put it together. There we go. Good job. What is that hair piece? Uh, she's like, oh, my sister-in-law, my future sister-in-law. <laughs> Kaguya wants to be called. Why are you levitating? What is going on? Oh, you're on the couch probably. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the, what is happening? What is going on? What is going on? He fumbled in a in a council meeting or something. Wait, what actually happened? It sounds like somebody's running above me. Okay. As a Shinomiya. Is Shinomiya? Mia. No, it's Mia. Oh my goodness, we're dead. Ooh. Take down the pawns. Smart, 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 smart. Bro! Wait, I want to talk about that later. I hope I remember to talk about that later. Big sis, she's thinking about the in-law thing. That's what I was talking about, bro. Yup, yup, yup. The game extends, bro. Oh, is she so diligent? This character's cracked. It may not seem like it. Who's behind them? Wait, is someone behind? Is that Ishika? <laughs> I only noticed the black outline, bro. He's scary. Yeah, but he is the treasurer, so this is perfect. Oh, she got mogged, though. She got mogged. 
Look how helpful he is. I love this guy, actually. Look at him immediately jumping into action like that. Now Kagi is coping. Now Kagi is coping. I like how her her imagined version of Kay is so different than how we've already seen her. You know? Like, she seems to be a really put together, composed, like, diligent girl. Kind of, kind of similar to, like, Miyuki's persona he puts on around Kagi a lot. Well, but, but either way, this, this K is so radically different because Kagi is, like, coping so hard. Desperately pitting for familial love. Oh, that gives you an excuse to call him by his first name. Aww. Dang. She's pogging? She's pogging? She's gonna be like, I right, bet, thanks for the information. I'm ready to leave. <laughs> Gonna just be like, wait, don't leave. <laughs> I need to love you. Oh, Chica. Never speak again. Oh, shoot. Wait, what? They're already best friends? Oh, my fault. Wait, they're so fun with each other. Kagi has been mogged twice. How? Tabletop game? Oh, younger sister Moeha? Oh, okay. Frick, where are you in my list? Moeha? I'll just write it down. That's cute. I spelled Moe wrong. Okay, we got it. They're playing games together. A K dance? You've been stealing the sister of my beloved. That's funny. They have a video, they have a TikTok, bro. They have a TikTok, it's already over. <gasps> it's horrible. Wait, no, Kay actually does have this person, this, per this like, more bubbly personality. It just is only coming out with Chica here. So Kogi had a good read in her, hypothetical. Bigger chest, bigger attachments to his family. Glutton. Wow, that's extreme. Oh! <gasps> You're so two-faced. <laughs> You're the worst. What do you do? What was the booba booba sound? Did you hear that? Boo boo. What's up, Miyuki? He's sweating. He's sweating. Talk about Kaguya. Talk about Kaguya. What? Right. That is such a sibling thing to say. <laughs> that is such a sibling. She's good at reading people. Blushing, you're blushing. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, she wanted to get Kagi. She wanted Kagi to like her too. It's just like, dude, it runs into family. Where both of them want Kagi to like her. Or want... Oh my goodness. Chica family shot. Where was that? Okay. They both want Kaguya to like them, but she's kind of hard. Or she kind of has like, yeah. You get what I mean. I gotta read. I gotta, there's so much to read. <laughs> the text is so fast. Good. Good mentality. What? What do you mean that was a lie? Are you a crammer? You've been cramming. You haven't slept in so long. Ten? I mean, that's accurate, bro. That's what I do. I literally will just pull an all-nighter. Yeah, he can't mess it up. He can't mess it up. He has a, a reputation to withhold. Yeah. Dang, that's stressful. What are you doing, Ishigami? Those are dishes. Are you hungry? 
What is going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so much energy. Calm down. Yeah, real. Lose the battle to win the war. He does have that over her. Where are you leaving? Study. Come on. Fail again. You failed last time? Why don't I believe you? That is such a lie. <laughs> he just wants to go play games, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. What is this walk cycle, bro? He'll simply fail his exams. I respect this man so much. I actually love this character so much. You do use Twitch slang, I thought, yeah. Oh yeah, you're like a polygot though. Oh my goodness, there's so much. <laughs> there's so many lies, there's so many lies. Meditating. Good job, Chica. That was no lie. Oh, oh, oh! It has been steadily dropping. <laughs> How stupid are you? I couldn't find you on the list of that last time. She's, uh, she's taking all the advice for real? Unlucky. Unlucky. Information, connections, assets. <laughs> Holy crap, wait, we're getting so much information. First, that's my boy right there. That's my boy right there. What's up, Ichigami? 197th out of 199? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Even less allowance? I bet you get a way too much allowance already, bro. He is so nervous. <laughs> you got this, bro. No, you got this. Ugh. You got this. Luckin. Luckin. Dang, this is a test taking, bro. I want to talk about... I have so much I want to talk about now. This is a good episode for, for talking. Oh, real. Perfectionism is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You need some you need some weapon. Ajibit? Yeah, get in there. Okay, rankings time. Same thing. Oh, ever so humble. Ever so humble. What a man. Aw. Graceful loser. Shit, <laughs> that was hell. <laughs> uh... She's a, such a tantrum. <laughs> She's such a child. Real. Real. Dude, I used to be like this so much, bro. Ooh, he's being real. He's being real. Dang. male bathroom oh he's grinning 
<laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> what is happening, bro? He's shadow boxing in the toilet, bro. What a giga chad. Oh, nice. Thank you for giving that. Wait. Okay. In the little break between it. I'll be able to find that. Okay. Flashback. Let him pass, bro. He's the treasurer. He's me? He's me for real, for real? Kaki is outside the door. You're scaring me? Why are you like this? Excuse me? Help him out. Oh, that is so real. Yeah, my school is like that, bro. Okay, not this specific stuff, but like that half thing. Yeah. Likes the mindset. A five hour break. Oh my goodness. She's gonna kill you. Ishigami, she's gonna kill you. Ishigami, run. <laughs> Ishigami, get out of there. <laughs> he can't break free. He can't break free, bro. Wait, this show's so fun. What the heck? I was so excited. What the hell is happening? <laughs> was that a writing crop? Wait, wait, you're actually a menace. Wait. I'd let it happen. I'd let it happen. What, are you gonna drip candle wax on me? Oh, I'm, I'm playing, 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 I'm Yeah, what are you doing to me? Uh, study or I, study or I hit you. <laughs> A critical situation, life at risk. What is this, this like shrill background, bro? <gasps> Brutal. No distractions, locked away. Locked away. Here's a test, no, here's a practice test. But the fish? Or forcing me to study. Oh, you're getting forced to study. And the fish? Why the fish? Are they good for like your brain? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's dead. You actually killed. Oh, uh, he. Pu oh no, that's f okay. I thought that was puke. No, that's just fish. This is bad. He sucks. She's scary. Again, we're doing this again. Look at her going out of her way to help her to help her treasurer though. That's a real one. Avoiding failing. Oh my goodness, a what? Through the window? Oh my goodness. She got her entire squad pulled up. Rest in peace. I'm not having a member of my student council fail. No. Yeah. <laughs> Who are those? What, y'all got a crush on him? Hey, wait, what's going on here? Oh no, don't spread that rumor. Whoa, rumors, rumors gonna spread. Depression, depression gonna spread too. He's talking about it.
being treated with caution. Yo, what happened? I true true anti. Okay, he a publicity risk. Yeah, he's talking. Yeah, good move, Kaguya. Good move. Tell him to buzz off. If you're gonna say behind my back, you better have the confidence to say it to my face. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I, I appreciate them at least saying this much. I mean, it's still rap behavior, but like. Good move. Good move, Kagem. Good move. Good line, too. Yeah, don't just follow public perception like that. Like, people... Dude, school... Children jump on each other for no reason. And will just vilify, like, one random student as a scapegoat and just ruin them. Ruin their life, right? That's... A, it's horrible. So just, yeah... Even to my death. Because <laughs> all it takes is like one person, right? Like how you're here to like really. Oh, Yuki. Dang, he was ready to jump in too. Real one, real one. Good job, bro. Good on him for, for like being like this too, being like, hey, I appreciate that. Okay, I'm terrified. You did worse than I wanted you to. <laughs> it was this close. <laughs> what is that? Not the mud, bro. What is that? Aww. Thirty eight forty one. Oh, oh, he, he found himself getting too close to saying something. Who are you? The Ishigami of days long past. Oh, young Ishigami there. Wait, what the heck? Dude, this is such a pleasant show. That's me right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, let me just dream of planes real quick. Wait, that's, why does that shot go hard? Wait, wait, why does that shot go hard? Wait, <laughs> what the heck? Wait, this was actually pleasant. This was such a pleasant episode. I really like this episode. I feel like it's getting better. Is the show not getting better? Because, like, they... Man, like, I feel like like this episode didn't lean into the comedy as much. Like, they still did. But just watching, like... Like, how much comedy really... Well, I guess her, like, fake torturing him was really funny. That was pretty funny. But after that... I mean, the comedy, like, stopped. And it was just, like, them... I mean, there was, like, a little bit, I guess, with her, like, pressing him with the test results. But... Her just being like, I'm honestly trying to help you out. I'm not going to believe in hearsay. Like, all that kind of stuff. That was just real, you know? And so, like... I, it's like what I've said before. Like, mixing... Like, the... I don't know if I've actually said this much. But, like, the, the serious moments... Um, well, I guess with, like, the umbrella scene, right? The umbrella scene was, like, really cute. It's kind of like that again. Where it's like, they're not trying to do a bit or whatever. It's just, like, a very honest, like... Like, um like, teenage drama type thing, but, like, not in a... Teenage drama isn't the right term. Like, cute childhood stuff. I don't know, something like that. No, I'm not, don't open nine. Don't open nine. Go back to eight, please. But, yeah, that was an adorable episode. I actually really like that episode. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we had... We met Kay. What was the middle one again? Oh, it was studying for the test, and then we went back in time. That's right, that's right. Um, let me look at this, or... What was it? There were there were two things I wanted to look at for sure. What are these stars? What is going? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. This is it. Oh, my. Who was that? Okay, so third daughter of Chica. Okay, so this is Chica Familia. Chica, Chica, Chica. She doesn't know how to whistle. It's in my notes because we saw her going like the other, <laughs> the other episode. Okay, so sister or youngest sister, younger sister is Moeha or Moia, Mo Maui head. Uh, and then, so she's she looks about what I would expect out of a Chica family member. Then we got second daughter Chica, and then older sister Toyomi. Toyomi, um, <laughs> hey Toyomi, wait, how, wait, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. So Chica is, is how old? Because I, so like Chica's like at least 16, right? So I'm just trying to do some mental math here. So I think Chica's 16, bordering on 17, which means Toyomi, that there has to be at least like a, like a, like a nine to 10 month gap minimum between Toyomi and Chica because pregnancy takes that long, right? I don't know, eight or nine months or whatever. A little extra month in there for for the, for the like a fertility to kick back in or whatever. I don't freaking know how that works, but I'm assuming it's about minimum like 10 months, right? Between you can, between child pumping out, right? Because yeah, you would pump out Chica and then, or you would pump out Toyomi and then 10 months, boom, Chica, right? So, which is to say, there's a very reasonable chance Toyomi's 18, right? Or older. I mean, not gonna lie, she looks like she in college. You know what I'm saying? I'm done with that. <laughs> you already knew where I was going like three seconds into that. I don't need to keep saying none. Okay, and then this other part. Results after the first semester. Shirogani Miyuki, first to first. Kaguya, second to second. Kashi, oh, Kashiwagi, you're smart as, wait, you're so smart, Kashiwagi, what? Yeah, she's the, um, the girl, the dating girl. Um, wow, you're in what? You're in, top, I'm going to say you're a top 10, um, um, test student. You're a top 10? That's really impressive. Fujiwara Chika? Wow, wait, Chika's in the top 100, roughly. I mean, got kicked out, but like, there were 200, there were 199 people in the school, so Chika went from just over the average to just barely under the average. Way better than I expected out of her. Dub, I guess. Hayasaka? Wait, Hayasaka? You're really consistent. Wait, how did you give 114 twice in a row? Uh, Kashiwaki's boyfriend? What did I... Okay, I felt... I actually felt like an idiot because I was like... In my notes, I didn't have his name down. But they just called him Kashiwaki's boyfriend. So I do... Actually, it's not my fault. Because I've been referring... I've been like... I've been... Every time I've referred to the guy, I've had to say... Like, I've had to kind of do it roundabout to try to not expose myself for not knowing his name. Because you know if I don't know the guy's name, I'm just going to, like, try to talk my way around it so it's not obvious that I didn't know the guy's name. But looky here. Kashiwagi, they don't know his name either. Ishigami, you? Good jump. Good jump up, Ishigami. But yeah, dang. Okay. She got way smarter than I thought she was. She average here? This place is cracked. This place is cracked. Um, And then, okay, so what was... What happened in middle school, bro? They, they threw out a term here that I didn't... I recognize the term, but I don't remember its meaning at all. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to look it up really quick. Yeah, that word train... Tr true... Inting? A, a truant? Another way of... Wait. Wait. Truanting from school is as like skipping? Children who truant are regularly absent from school, usually while pretending to their parents that they have gone to school. Oh, okay. So he said, I right, mom, I'll see you there. And then just went to the park and played on his 3DS. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, you were a little problem student. So he was kind of like a, a delinquent in that way. But honestly, like, that is such a stupid thing to get onto somebody for that they didn't show up. But what? That, no, that's kind of based. Like, what? But uh, look at Kaguya Go, like, not being, like, because we've, we've seen them care so much about their, like, how they're perceived. But in this case, with, with Homeboy here, she's like, Psh, I don't care, you know? There'll be weird rumors and they'll taint your name. She literally stands up for him and squares up with those girls. Right? She realizes, like, how much is weighing on him and says, like, F this. Wait, let me actually, like, square up real quick. Good move, Kaguya. Like, great move, Kaguya. And then going with the whole, like, oh, we were just worried about you. Like, like, come on, guys. It's better to stay away from him. That's the crazy thing. They're not even out here trying to be malicious. That's the crazy thing about it, right? Like, they they don't hate Ishigami. They're just like, 
you know, like, oh, we've heard bad things about him, and we're kind of worried, we're kind of scared, and, like, that's all, that's our girl Kaguya, so, like, this is kind of weird, and they're just talking loud, right? But, like, that's, what's, what would the term there? Um, it's like manslaughter, bro, <laughs> where it's, like, even if you don't intend to, like, hurt somebody, it's still so easy to hurt somebody, like, being tone deaf, right? It's like being tone deaf, kind of, like, you are not at all taking into account how, how Ichigami feels about this, right? And so even if you're, and they're making it into like a, oh, we're just worried about you, right? So it's like a, it's like even, like, it's like they're trying to like moral, have like moral high ground about like, we're worried about you. Like, that's a positive thing, you know? Or like, you know, that's like righteous behavior of like being worried about somebody. But it can so, like, man, that's, that's one of the crazy things about like life where like something that feels righteous can very quickly become super, super like bad right um and i'm that's something that i'm like most aware of with like anger where like if you're angry at someone and i've said this a couple of times but like if you're angry at someone and you think they deserve to be hurt then that is like a really dangerous place to go because there's not nothing holding you back anymore right hello i think that was a garbage truck i think the garbage truck is i don't know if you could hear that but either way um righteous anger like is super dangerous, you know? Because I've, like, I've had my, like, bouts of righteous anger before where it's, like, I'm pissed, but this is, like, the first time I've been pissed, and I actually, like, this is a good thing that I'm pissed because this is a problem. But then, like, later, more information comes to light, and it's, like, oh, shoot, I was pissed, and I immediately took a moral high ground position being completely unaware of the grander scope of the issue, right? Um, and so, like, nowadays, I try to be, like, extra more careful with, like, any sort of, like, right like righteous feeling stuff. And they say, kind of in the same way of what they're doing, where it's, like, yeah, they think they're in a morally high position, but, like, you need to, like, check yourself, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, but I'm getting, like, flashbacks to... Oh, wait, yeah, there were two things I wanted to talk about. So this is Chica's younger... Bro, it runs in the family with that family. I'm sorry, that was so inappropriate to say about that character. But, like, holy... Like, my goodness. Um, no, what I wanted to say about this, the whole, like, sibling dating thing. So, like, fun fact about me, I have four siblings, right? And three of them are older than me. Three of them are older sisters. There you go. There's, there's sibling lore right there. If you, if you want to catch that, write that down. Do not write that down. That's weird. No, no, no. Don't be taking notes on my personal life. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> but, so I have, I have a, I have a bunch of older sisters, right? And so, like, I, like, I've multi, so many times been, like, the, like, Oh, I like this boy. Like, let me tell you all about him and show him the pictures. And, blah, blah, blah. and it's like, I have to like quality check him, you know, because if I don't like the guy, then I got to, then I'm going to tell my sister, this guy's a piece of scum. I don't like this guy. You're not allowed to date him. Like it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's, it's just, it's super funny because very recently I had one of my sisters like pull up and this is, I'll be vague, but like I had one of my sisters like I was talking to them about, and they were, like, interested in some guy or whatever, and they were telling me about him, and there were just so many red flags, like, over and over and over, and I, like, called all of them out, and she was like, yeah, I know it's bad, but, like, but, like, he's so hot, and he's tall, and it's like, <laughs> I say no, I have banned this guy, okay, like, if you want to, like, hang out with them, maybe get a little freaky, like, I'm not gonna stop you, like, I don't care, but, like, this ain't going long term. Like, I hope you're aware. So this whole, like, for families that have, like, good sibling relationships, which it looks like with um, the, what are your last names? The Shiorganes here, that they have a, a pretty decent sibling relationship that they would take each other, like, seriously when it came to something like that. Like, yeah, like, if, if like, it's very reasonable for Kaguya to be like, yo, I need to get this sister to like me in order to, like, get to my homeboy here. That's super valid. Yeah. Um... This was really kind of cute, though, that she was, like, flushed with, with Kaguya um, and kind of, like, em like embarrassed that she couldn't really, like, communicate it with her well. Uh, man, if that ain't just running in the Shiorganes, you know? That's kind of fun. Um, <coughs> but, yeah. And, like, man, even in, like, like situations I... Like, bro, even in, like, things I've been... With, like, back to the sibling thing, um, even in situations I've been in where, like, I'll, like, go to my sisters and be like, yo... Like, you're, you guys are girls, right? And you're my sisters. So, like, I, like let me like let me get some of your opinions on this, on, like, like this person I'm talking to or whatever. Like, they will so quickly just be like, mm, no, no, this is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. Eh, kick them to the curb. And it's like, damn, like, calm down. Um, you know what I mean? I mean, it's so funny. Or, like, 
and this is so random, but like one time I was um I like I had like um like a dating app profile that I had, like more it was mostly for fun more than anything else. Um, and I was like showing my sister, I'd be like, yo, is this profile Riz? Uh, no, uh, why did I say Riz? But like, you know what I mean? Um, and we, like, it's so crazy to me. I like opened it, I was like, yeah, like, I'm just gonna swipe through some, and, they were, and, and she was watching over my shoulder, and I would like swipe on somebody, and she'd be like, no, that was bad. Why did you do that? Like, that person is not worth it, you know? And it's like, I'm like, bro, what do you mean? Like, I need to cast my net, bro. Yeah, it's just so funny. Like, simply, like, romantic endeavors, and then that being like, supplemented by sibling interaction is something that I have like a ton of a ton of experience in which is just you know so like this portion really like worked with me um and like made a lot of sense so like I'm excited to meet like Chica's family more I'm excited to keep seeing K pop into the story um benefactors siblings acquaintances friends parents real oh yeah this beginning thing I'm not gonna lie what was what was t what was happening if you're looking for the president, he's in a meeting with the clubs to discuss their budget. Okay, that's all I need to know. Bro, I was distracted by her feet levitating and they put it on top of the screen so I didn't see it. The subtitles? So I was like, what are you talking about? He's where? He's in the rice fields? <laughs> and then she said like something about this. A long time ago, there was a student council president who had just transferred to school. Like she starts going off about something. Organized crime group, the Ryuju group. Captain of the Kendo Club, son of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Chief. Captain of the Judo Club, son of the Chief of Staff of the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force. Is that Shirogane? Oh, no, no, I mean, um, Kashiwagi. That Loki looked like Kashiwagi. I don't know. They're so, these people are crazy. It became difficult for him to stay in the country. I was like, I was like kind of convinced. I was like, wait, I'm not convinced, but I was like, is he actually out of the country? I was like doubting myself there. Um, how did, when did the guy, when did Ishigami creep up on them? That caught me so off guard. I just randomly no, oh, I didn't even see the figure move up. Oh, I didn't even see the figure look, move up. I might've been like looking away or something for like a moment or like reading the subtitles. I didn't see, I only saw it when it was like this. <laughs> I only saw it when there was a full black outline, no movement. So it was just like, what is that? <laughs> what is that thing? That was funny. Um, and then the other main thing kind of going on this episode about like, exams bro that's another thing that i like have a lot of experience with um because i was like a big test taker in uh in high school and even like middle school or whatever right um that like academic scholastic bro i was i was a testing monster um so like it's so funny like i used to like i was in like a a thing to what was it called like a like a psat study group thing right so you would like take a ton of like PSAT is one of the, one of the big, like, American high school tests, by the way, right? Um, so I was in one of those groups to, like, get really good at them, you know? Um, and I, like, had a couple friends in that group or whatever, and after every practice test, we would all compare our scores or whatever, and I proudly was just rolling them. Like, every time I would, I would beat them in both sections, right? Like, your boy, your boy was just better than them. It is what it is. Like, you know, read them, read, read them and weep them, you know what I'm saying? Um, just over and over. And then, like, one time, one of my friends tied me. And that was such a big deal for him. He was like, yes! You know what I mean? Because um, it was, like, one of the last ones we did, too. Uh, and so I was just like, you know what? A. Like, it was kind of exactly what they were doing here. Um, where, like, where he was like, ah, you got me there. I'm like, ah, oh, it's so, you know. That kind of, like, the way you, like, casually brush it off. But, like, deep down, I was like, dang it! I'm losing my status as the guy that rolled them every time. Like, a little bit of that. Um... Yeah. Yeah, exam, dude, it, taking exams is something else. I'm a monster with exams, though. I might be, like, you know, I'm a monster. Put, put a freaking, put a freaking PSAT in front of me right now. I'm perfect scoring that hoe. Yeah, another one, please. Oh, waiter, waiter, more, more tests, please. More, more, <laughs> more <laughs> school mandated testing, please. Oh, yeah, I wanted to... Oh, this is good. I wanted to grab this, too. This is the the ranking? Oh, we already know all the rankings. They showed us this. Right, I, I don't think there's any new characters here. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, she's tutoring him! She's tutoring him, her boyfriend. That is so cute. She gets just sleeping with her dog. She got, I like those... Never mind. I'm just... He's just, it cuts to Ishigami just gaming. Whatever. 
Yeah, Kashiwagi. Dang, Kashiwagi's boyfriend jumped up 50-ish places because she helped him. Oh, that is so sweet. She stayed in the top 10. He jumped up like 50 places because she tutored him. That is so cute. Yeah. What a good episode. What a good episode. Kage is so extra. Why did you... What is going on here? You have a riding crop? I know you didn't buy that just for this occasion. Like, what were you using that for? Were you like, Hi, Hi Osaka, I need to I need to get good at... I need to get some practice in with the riding crop in case me and Miyuki are trying to get freaky later. Like, I'm over. Like, that's crazy, Kaguya. You can't be doing that. She is not getting paid enough for this. Okay? She's another student that goes to your school. Do not riding crop her. That's crazy. This poor guy. <laughs> yeah, but man, that genuine worry about him I, I, was really cute. It was really appreciated. Oh, yeah, and this. Anything below half the average mark is considered a fail. Bro, my high school was like this, too. Or, like, my, my middle and high school, honestly. But my high school was, like, um, very, like, academic, you know? And they, like... Also, sports, also, like, whatever, right? Like, they would go to nationals with all sorts of different teams every year, right? Um, but, like, even with, like, academics, they were, like, a, the way that it was described to me once about, like, my high school was they they only care about their top students and everybody else they don't care about. And I, and it was so true. Like, having gone there, yeah, like, because I, I had a very, int I'm, I'm just going to go into a tangent here for a little bit. So there's your tangent warning, so now I'm allowed to. Is that how that works? Where um, the way that I kind of went through school was I like spent a lot of time in the like pre like the pre AP like higher whatever classes like the you know you can take like the the, the harder ones right um, I, I like mostly took those types of classes especially like for the first half um, of high school but then my junior year I was like wait a second I actually hate everything and I just took a bunch of like easy classes um, instead of like all the the harder ones you know and i'd already like finished like my, some of my credits early and then i like took like early out so i only had to go to school for like three of the four classes you know like i saw i was like i'm done with this place you know um but what that did for me is that i i spent a lot of time in the in the higher classes with all the people that were like really nose to the grindstone it and that that was kind of like with that testing environment where, where i had other friends and we were like fighting with our test scores constantly so like i had a lot of time in that environment but then I also, especially in like my my third year, um, then went to a like environment with all the students that didn't take those harder classes um, and were like a lot more just trying to pass, if anything, or not trying to pass. And that was what was so like worrying. And it was like such a radical change in, in environment and perspective to like go from the class where like the teacher would be going crazy and the students would be like, some of them would like, be you know losing their minds or whatever or like you know it's like a test day and everybody's dead silent like reading their notes right before the test comes in and like just trying to like burn things out of their mind and talking about study sessions all this nonsense and then i go into this other class um with like like the the not you know like higher level classes or whatever and nobody like cares right and the teacher like man the, the teacher just a lot of the times I kind of hated it where it's like none of these students are like listening to me teach or whatever. Um, and I remember very specifically, I'm getting deep into the tangent now. Uh, one of my classes, it was like 20 to 30 people, whatever. And I, you know, I was there and I think I was the only person in that class that the teacher liked. No joke. And I think it's because I was the only one that actually like tried to do anything because I'm so, I was so used to it because my entire schooling experience, I was always like a try hard. And then this last year I was like, I'm done with this. Like I'm letting, you know, I'm going to take all the easy stuff and just get out of here because I'm done. Um, and, but I was still, so I was taking the easy class, but I still had the habit so much. And so I was like actually the only one listening in class ever. And, and the teacher really liked me, but that's not even to say that there's anything wrong with those like other students. Like I got such a different perspective on, or like, I think a much more rounded perspective on people from that, which I thought was very valuable, where, like, I, you know, I learned to interact with, like, a lot of the, a lot of these other students that didn't prioritize acad academia so much, um, because those are, you know, there's a lot of different type, there's a lot of different types of people in those groups, um, and that's not to say that they're worse because they're, they, they don't take the harder classes or whatever, you know, um, I mean, if you, they, they'll get worse grades, but like, who cares about grades, right? Like, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different ways to be smart and academia only measures a few of them, you know? So interacting with those people 
I mean, like, rounded out, like, my perspective of people so much more, you know? And there's a lot of, like, the weed kids or whatever, like, you know, all sorts of stuff there. Like, the more, like, delinquent crowd. But, man, it like, this, this really was, like, real, right? Where, like, what's being said in the show here, like, anything below half the average mark is considered to fail. I felt like I moved from, like, the, the top 20, 10%, you know, like, everyone in the class is like a really try hard into that like below average mark territory where everything's considered a fail. And it really like, feel like you could feel that with the students where it's like, I'm, I almost felt like they were like low key abandoned by the school system, you know, where they're barely passing. And then it's like, then what for them? Right. Instead of kind of being like reinvigorated and picked back up and tried to like, and try like, yeah. And try in, like the school system there, like instead of raising the bottom, only prioritized excelling the top because they were trying to get people into like the nationals, trying to get people into like the ultra awarded presidential blah 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 bloom, um, because that looks good for the school, right? So yeah, um, and there are no kinds of supplementary lessons to help you recover. That's really what it was like. Like you're in those bottom classes, the teachers there kind of don't like you because you don't really care, and there's no teacher there to help you start caring again. You've kind of been like left to your own devices, low key. And it is what it is, you know? Yeah. So that really rang true to me as well, right? Especially because of the way that I, I experienced school, which I think is different than how most people experience school. Hey, she got me as a yellow card in the three subjects already. And it's like that kind of like stigma too, right? Like the stigma of those underperforming students, um, like, especially from those students that, like, are in the, the, like, the top, like, the big classes or whatever. It's like, oh, like, I'm in AP Geometry, and then I'm going into AP Humanities, and then I'm going into AP Biology, and then I'm going to AP Chemistry, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, those kind of students, which respect to y'all, any of y'all out there, like, that's still super respectable. Um, but a lot of the times, that, like, gives those students a sense of pride over the lower, like, the lower students, the students that don't take all those really hard classes. Um... And I mean, that's kind of what we're seeing here where Ishigami has been outcasted due to his, like, um, self, self departure from school, you know, whatever the term they used for that was. Uh, but like, I think Kaguya sees like that doesn't like, he still has like some incredible talents. I mean, his like treasury talent is incredible, right? We're all aware of that. He was handpicked by Miyuki. Miyuki in this, in similar to how Kaguya is doing it, saw potential in him despite his failing grades, despite all that um those like past those rumors about him and he was like oh no wait you have real talent here like like that's a dub we take those you know so if we judged ishigami as per those like academic guidelines or whatever as per his test scores whatever and the, then we wouldn't be able to like utilize any of his talents right like he has so much more to add even outside of what can be tested in that way or what is tested that way um in the school in the same way that you can apply that to like real life you know where like a lot of the people i met in those um in those like not super difficult classes are like you know relative right relative to the other classes it's not to like demean those those classes or whatever but um in those like relatively less difficult classes i mean a lot of the people there were like really funny you know really personable really charismatic you know um in ways that like like the the amount of people skill that those kinds of people had compared to like a lot of the like academic types is incredible because like 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 dude you can be super smart but if you don't know how to interact with people you still kind of are lacking a huge important skill you know what i'm saying like it's so important to be rounded out um in your in your abilities right so and i see like man because i'm still in some of those classes like because i'm in college now right like i'm still in some of those classes that have a lot of like like they're like I can just look at a kid and it's like I can immediately tell like oh you've always been in the the super difficult AP accelerated learning courses you've been in these your entire life I can just look at you and tell at this point a lot of the time right um you got that like you got that weird glint in your eye or whatever right um and a lot of the time not always not always but a lot of the time those same type of people I just can't help but be like bro you like just watching them act it's like bro you don't understand like these social cues being getting thrown around. Like, you're, like, like, you're kind of annoying people. You're kind of annoying me low-key. And I'm not going to, like, take it out on you or whatever, but it's like, dude, you got something to learn here, you know? You can't just dive your head into a book and learn about the world there. Like, you got to interact in the world. Yeah. 
which is to say that I think a mix between the two, um, especially like what Kagi is doing, man. Like I really respect that Miyuki outside the window, like being like, uh, you ready to jump in as well. Um, where they're seeing past all that, those rumors and they're seeing past any sort of like ego coming out of academia, any sort of like pride, you know, above the type behavior. Um, and they're interacting with him and, and finding ways to, to find his talents um with the treasurer thing and, ex and etc and get that like excellence out of him in, in whatever way he exhibits it you know um and man that can just be applied into real life so well right like never it's kind of a never judge a book by its cover thing like a lot of people have a lot of incredible you know i guess properties about them that aren't available on like aren't obtainable on first glance you know so immediately listening to rumors or whatever like trust your own eye i think i like how kaguya put it with her, with it being like oh you don't trust my eye yeah like that is such a good way to approach life i think um especially for someone like this where it's like bro you know like he's used to this because he immediately you, you see his downcast expression here he is used to this and that sucks i've had enough like that dude look at that he literally puts down the the pen and that loses his motivation to, to actually study. Like, it's it becomes a doom spiral, you know? Where you're the student that skipped classes, um, and, and then that caused you to struggle in school, and then you got rumors that you've been skipping classes and falling behind, and when, whenever you hear those rumors, that makes you feel bad. So what do you do? You skip classes, you fall behind more, right? Like, right when he's hearing that stuff, he's like, I don't wanna study anymore. Like, I'm feeling, like, he feels not great about that, obviously, and, and starts to like, you know, retreat back into himself, retreat back into that, into what he's, into that behavior, you know, and he, and man, luckily he, like, he opens up to Kaguya, which is great, and then luckily she's there, um, to, like, and, and responds in a really, in a really positive way, you know, where he's like, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm a problem student, I can just repeat a year, like, I'm not worth it, like, I, you know, I don't want your, your image to be tainted, and then Kaguya, Goat, Goatia, uh, immediately is like, stands up for him. And it's, that's just to say that, like, for somebody that, um, really struggles in, in, the, in that can exact, in, it be in so many different ways, whether it be like academically or, um, socially or whatnot, right? You know, he's kind of getting lightly, not quite bullied here, but I could totally see him as somebody that's been bullied in the past. Because uh, I can't tell off of one interaction whether he's bullied, but, you know, that type of behavior. I mean, for him, it seems like it's this has been somewhat common, perhaps. Um, for someone in that kind of position, one person having faith in them, one person standing up for them, can really mean the world, right? And that is just such a win. That is such a good Kaguya move. Using her, her terrifying aura for good. <laughs> 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 This is a good show. I'm liking this show quite a bit. And she immediately presses him. Do better next time. <laughs> she's a very she's a very passionate person. Oh yeah, she's a fun she's a fun character. How dare you stain my name like this? Yeah, and we've gotten that this cold hearted thing from her. Like she used to be called the Ice Queen or whatever. Um, that'd be interesting to flash back to at some point. I could see that being really interesting. But yeah. I think I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Episode 8 of Kaguya-sama, Love is War. What a wonderful episode. On to the next, episode 9 uh, and 10. I'll make sure to do both of those combined. But until then, until next episode, of course, of course, of course, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you are new. Um, a lot of you aren't subscribed. That's okay, but I'd prefer it if you were. <laughs> um, join the Discord. Talk to other Kaguya fans there. Um, I just blanked. Comment down below if you have anything to say or join the Discord. I already said that part. Just, I'm done with the video, and I'm going to see you on the next one, episode 9 and 10. Should be excited. I'll be seeing you then. Peace.